Our research is in the area of photovoltaic energy conversion. So sunlight is converted to electric power. And the systems we are working are different from silicon photovoltaics, which use a semiconducting solid to generate electric chargers from light. It contributes to the renewable energy supply. So my research uh, is, in a broad sense, is about different ways of uh, solar energy conversion. So. Uh, one way is solar cells and another way is to try to convert solar energy by direct processes into a fuel. We uh, design synthesis and characterization for next generation solar cells. The impact is the replacement of the traditional energy. Laser spectroscopy of uh, semiconducting materials to improve the efficiencies of uh, photovoltaic uh, devices. We develop now uh, new ways to produce energy at a lower cost and uh, of course in a more ecological fashion. In the future we have to focus more on the storage problem and generate fuels directly from sunlight. The energy crisis is falling upon us, so it's important that we could uh, design more efficient materials to help tackle issues about how to uh, harness the energy how to collect the energy and how to store them better. The fuels uh, that we use today are mainly fossil fuels. They are affecting our, our climate and so these type of fuels are also finite. So therefore we need uh, other type of energies and we have plenty of sunshine. Uh, my advice for the young scientists is not to pursue for the high tech. Do something from the basic research to the applied chemistry. Let me take a quote from uh, Einstein where uh, he said uh, imagination is more important than knowledge. So be imaginative in new approaches to tackle issues. Do something that, that uh, uh, triggers the, the most interest. To do what you feel important and what you think is interesting. I think that's very, very important driving force to be able to work hard and do interesting things. We need to assure future supply of brilliant young researchers that pick up the flag where we will leave it behind.